Um, and then we want to keep the last 10 minutes open for any questions that you might guys have. Um, so please use the chat any to any part of the webinar. Um, type in your question and we'll be sure to answer it. So I am an engagement developer, uh, engagement development manager here at VIA. My name is Max Levitt. Um, I have over six years of account management experience, and I've always challenged myself to lean into uh, new emerging technology solutions, as I truly believe that uh, change energizes us. And also presenting today is Darmesh. Uh, Darmesh, can you give a short introduction of yourself? Sure, thank you, Max. Hi, uh, I'm Dharmesh Koda. I'm the president and CTO of Adware Solutions uh, and have been working in this space for quite some time, uh, working as Microsoft partner, initially as a Microsoft uh, employee. Uh, I focus mainly around building solutions, building, building business solutions uh, using different technology platforms. Uh, I love working with technology. I love solving business issues, and that's why we have this company, which kind of work or work towards making technology work for uh, various organizations. So hopefully today you guys will uh, enjoy the webinar. We'll learn uh, quite a bit about uh, field services and how we manage field services uh, systems. So uh, I look forward to talking to you separately as one on one as well. Hey, thank you, Darmesh. So um, just before we get into it, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about what we do and who we are. Um, so we are a consulting organization that works with our customers and partners to make technology work for them. Our sole goal is to take the pieces of tech that you already have or that you would like to deploy and make them work in a way that has been made specifically for you. Um, so we basically work on tailored solutions using def different technologies such as uh, Microsoft Power Platforms, uh, business applications, Power BI, Power Apps, virtual agents, Dynamics, Azure, and down the line. Um, and we bring these technologies together and integrate them in a way that works for you. We want to make sure that organizations are utilizing technology implementation and investments um, in the fullest and getting the most out of the capabilities um, of these systems. So we focus more on service based organizations and uh, by that I mean uh, field service organizations, um, project services, professional services organizations and uh, for large enterprises where the departments are service units, uh, for example, IT services or customer service department in any large company. Our sole expertise is around the service industries, and that is what we try to bring into our customer base. The solutions that we work on are related with um, customer engagements that involve the overall customer relationship management. Um, and we build solutions that give a better experience to their customers or for the people that are serving their customers. We create solutions for work management and enhancing productivity. So in uh, work management, we work with Microsoft project based solutions or field services management. Uh, also, work order management solutions, dispatch management solutions, uh, inventory, and basically connecting everything together with an ERP to ensure that there is a flow of entities from the very beginning to the end. And throughout the whole cycle, there's a lot of data um, that gets used. And so for business insight solutions, we have teams who are experts in creating the overall data infrastructure, coming up with uh, Power BI based representations and semantic data modeling. Um, so in terms of expertise, we bring our Microsoft Gold partnership expertise around Microsoft data analytics, uh, cloud management, and many more. And some of the logos you see at the bottom are some of the customers uh, we work with. We do work on multiple technologies, and our goal is basically to be um, a business that is as supportive as possible and give that tailored and defined solutions for those businesses. Our experience has allowed us to gain uh, many insights into what our customers need. We have more than 17 years in the business and have operations worldwide. Uh, we are also headquartered in Bellevue, Washington in the United States and in Udaipur in uh, India. So let's um, quickly go over the basics. So what is field service management? Uh, well, it is the means of organizing and optimizing operations performed outside of the office. Uh, so basically out in the field. And in the simplest form it is the part of organization that deploys a worker to perform in person service for a customer. Uh, it is generally a resource centric, uh, meaning that it is people centric, where your main task is to manage your people, especially the field force in terms of um, scheduling, 
uh, sending out technical specialists to set up and inspect equipment, and basically tracking overall employee progress in the field. Um, some common examples of field services include uh, repair and maintenance, customer support, HVAC, telecom services, and uh, even uh, food delivery is considered field services. So the purpose of um, today's webinar is to address some challenges that companies are facing today. Um, so while organizations invest in a lot of uh, contact center tools like agent performance, uh, call routing, schedules, uh, customer satisfaction. They also need um, field service technicians to track performance, route on site service uh, calls, schedule hours, and track customer satisfaction. And so organizations need a solid strategy to address challenges and provide the expected quality of services to run field service smoothly. Um, so here, what you see on the screen are just some of the challenges um, that we see a lot in field services management. Uh, the first one is scheduling. Uh, many people don't realize the challenge in scheduling field workers and uh, usually consider automation. But uh, even with automation, organizations still face issues um, like accounting for traveling time uh, to schedule service calls, predicting service call length so that the field workers gets to the next call within the next scheduled window, um, ensuring each service call has a worker with the right skill set, and um, sending timely schedule changes um, to workers. So when scheduling problems happen frequently, um, organizations can suffer from lower customer satisfaction, poor ratings, and increased operational costs. Um, next, you have a uh, process tracking. So from the field workers arrival to payment receipts to post call customer feedback, um, organizations struggle to track field service processes. Um, especially when you have multiple workers in multiple locations working different jobs. And then you have a uh, customer experience, uh, right? Uh, which is which ultimately affects a, an organization's success. So what are some forces uh, driving these changes in the service industry? Well, the service, the service and support industry is going um, undergoing a massive transformation. Even though we're almost out of the global pandemic, knock on wood, uh, we're still seeing a lot of the effects it had on businesses, and it's been um, steadily increasing over the years. So employees are working from remote or distributed locations at increasing rates, um, which is reducing the amount of in-person engagements. Customers are also demanding self-service options that help them resolve issues or questions on their own without needing the help of a human agent or technician and contact center volumes are spiking more than ever. As um, these uncertainties caused by the pandemic have um, opened up concerns about health and safety, and generally uh, customer expectations continue to rise across all channels and manners of engagement. So now let's talk about how we can remedy um, some of these challenges with field service management solutions. Um, so let me hand it over to Darmesh. Thank you, Max. Uh, I hope my voice is audible to everyone. So in the past, a lot of companies have built a bunch of solutions, processes based, paper based, uh, different kind of technologies that they have used, uh, different kind of capabilities that were available at that time they have used. So field services has always been managed in some way or another. In the past, in the long uh, long time back, most of the field services management was done using paper based. We used to create a work order for our field forces, uh, give them addresses that, hey, this is the address that you need to go uh, and make some uh, updates over there, install certain things or fix certain things and come back and report how many hours you have finished on that so that we can generate an invoice for that customer. In many areas, we will wait for customer to call us uh, in order for uh, like, hey, my machine is broken. Can you please come and fix it instead of being proactive around those? So that was a, a classic paper base. Then we evolved into some uh, some systems where we added a a proper back office uh, field services management system, uh, which was more computer based and more uh, technology based solution. And we gave um, our field employees uh, some sort of a technology piece, whether it's a mobile or, or a tablet or something where they can actually take, um, get the data and do uh, their field operations. Now, this one was a very uh, 
vast leap kind of a difference between the, the previous state and this state. Lot of optimizations were uh, achieved in this scenario. A lot of organizations were able to uh, 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 streamline their scheduling, uh, streamline their field workforce. Field field people do not need to come to to the office to get the uh, get the work order details, or they do not need to come to the office to even report back on how the work order got performed. With the mobile uh, technologies and with the with the uh, a proper field services management solution, the field team was able to uh, to solve those kinds of uh, challenges that they were facing with the classic paper based system. A big difference here: a huge amount of efficiency was gained, a huge amount of um, uh, uh, automation was achieved, and the system worked out really well. But what happened during the pandemic time? Uh, we we saw that our back offices got closed. Uh, the field work was still being performed. Uh, there there was uh, there was a scenario where back office cannot stay in office uh, for long. So for that purpose, the field services evolved into in order to incorporate the hybrid work scenario. Now in this scenario, as you see, I mean we have uh, like people working uh, instead of uh, working in back office, they are working from wherever they can, uh, whatever uh, keep it, uh, whatever location they can work from, they can. And the field services people, the field team that we have, uh, is basically working as usual with the, with the same uh, kind of uh, mobile and iPad and things things like that. Now this is a kind of a scenario where uh, we also wanted to empower field services to uh, field team to basically get hold of um, uh, experts or get hold of expertise in, within the organization wherever possible because we are now limited by uh, our resources. We are limited by the regulations and uh, conditions of uh, uh, of each location to location. Uh, the back uh, the people are not kind of gathering in the back office to uh, manage their field services team, but instead they are working from anywhere or everywhere. Uh, kind of scenario needs to happen. So the new evolution that we talk about in field services, which is kind of a, a next step on on the automations that we were we achieved in the the previous uh, uh, generation of field services solution, is basically a complete cloud based an immersive environment where uh, uh, the management team can work from anywhere. They can create the dispatch schedules. They can work with the with the field services people, and they can manage their field services team uh, from anywhere. Now, with the field uh, field services also um, field services team also got uh, a kind of a capability boost when they are now able to reach out to uh, expertise all over the world. Now, with the complete hybrid scenario, there is a capability for field services team to kind of work with expertise whether when and wherever required. Other thing that has happened in the field service evol evolution, which is not being shown over here, is basically emerging uh, emergence of connected scenarios. Now the connected scenarios basically says that uh, in if a customer has a breakdown of uh, of any machinery or any any piece that we work with, the machinery itself uh, sends a signal back to the office saying that hey something is going wrong and please come and fix it. Instead of a customer noticing it and then calling a uh, a service operation, the machines are now well equipped with IoT um, kind of scenarios, IoT kind of capabilities where machines keep on uh, keep on sending their service status or their their kind of uh, working health uh, back to the back office uh, or to the the field services management system in the in the back in the office, uh, which kind of continuously keeps a watch on things. Now we can create certain automations where a regular technician visits can be scheduled, or uh, the moment we see uh, signs or or the markers for a machine breakdown in future, we basically initiate a work order automatically and make it happen. How are we able to do all of these things together? That's where Microsoft Dynamics 365 for field services come, come in. Now this is a complete one platform which kind of gives you full mechanism for uh, going end to end right from the customer initiation to all the way to the, the billing and, and things like that in one uh, uni unified platform which is called Microsoft Dynamics 365. 
The field services portion of Microsoft Dynamics 365 basically take care of a lot of contract management, schedule and dispatch. Uh, it also gives you some way of managing inventory. Uh, it kind of gives a mechanism for uh, the field services management people or the operations people to work with the technicians who are in the field uh, without uh, without kind of uh, meeting face to face kind of thing. So communication, collaboration with technicians and, and uh, operations happen via mobile platform. Uh, also, the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for field services enables uh, connected field services scenario that the scenario that I was talking about uh, in the previous slide where uh, we are talking about IoT connected devices and proactive service management instead of reactive service management. Uh, and with all of those things, we uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 provides a customer centric experience, so customers can have a constant look at all the all the challenges that their machines have, or when a, a technician is being di dispatched to them, or a plumber is being dispatched to technician uh, to our customer's home. Customer can figure out like where where that plumber is, when it's going to come in, uh, or even if it's getting late in the traffic and all, he can have up to date, up, up to minute information available to them. So the customer experience is core and centric around that. So in order to provide that customer uh, focused uh, ex experience, Microsoft Dynamics 365 as a platform provides a bunch of tools and, and capabilities, including uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Field services, project services, and uh, 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 Microsoft Dynamics uh, 365 uh, 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 finance and operations. And uh, then there is a Microsoft Dynamics 365 for business service, uh, business cent uh, central, which is kind of a SMB solution for ERP and, and management, and that can also be uh, very well integrated with the Dynamics field services solution. Uh, to give you an example, a uh, few examples, I've, I would like to go over some of the case studies that uh, we would like to present during our presentation today. The first one is AAS Forting, and AAS Forting is a um, is one of the largest export and concrete um, uh, restoration company in Pacific Northwest, and uh, they have been working. Uh, they they are the uh, they are the customers who are running uh, the the aged old paper based field services management. So they used to have uh, a paper based work order system where they, the the crews will come to office on Monday morning, collect bunch of work orders to be done over the week and they will go and they will try to finish as many things as possible or update some some other things, collect their time sheets and time records on different pieces of paper, get all the all the all the details that they were actually taking pictures also and all of those things, then they will come back to office on Thursday evening and they will deposit those things back to the office and then the back office processes them in order to update the status and things like that. Now that was the original scenario. They hired us uh, to basically look at like, hey, how digital transformation can actually help them or help their business to become more productive. Now, what they were mainly looking for is a bunch of technology users. I mean, the technology implementation. Also, they wanted to manage the licensing. And of course, cost is a big factor for mid-sized companies and small, uh, small size companies. So that was always the consideration that how can we keep the cost uh, 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 in control. Ultimately, what they were looking for is a complete workflows and uh, and uh, document management system, which kind of help them in work order management, work order scheduling, billing, and reporting at at a very fast pace uh, kind of scenario. So what we worked uh, worked on uh, building the solution for them uh, was basically we started with digitizing their work orders. So uh, work orders uh, and the orders that they were receiving from uh, some of their uh, commercial customers, which was like they were getting some sort of uh, automated response uh, from some commercial system that, hey, we need this kind of restoration done. Uh, they were getting uh, different kind of PDF files and things like that. And we basically took that and automated uh, create uh, creation of the work orders out of them. Now, once the work order got created, uh, there were capabilities of doing schedule optimizations and uh, schedule management for each of the crew. So we were able to achieve that using the schedule optimization and dispatch board. 
we created the full end to end work order cycle and also end to end customer relationship management cycle right from the uh, from the lead management to opportunity management to the work order transition to the dispatch transition and then do a, a kind of a super uh, supervisor uh, review uh, uh, the inspectors the city inspectors and all we were able to streamline the whole workflow all the way from uh, from the inception of the work all the way to the billing of the solution we created a mobile interface or we use the Microsoft Dynamics Field Services mobile interfaces and Microsoft Power Apps based mobile solution in order to create an interface for them to interact with the with this field services management solution behind the scenes. And they were able to achieve uh, a full unified solution along with the document management and everything uh, using Microsoft Dynamics Field Services uh, thing. What they were able to achieve, what are the outcomes and benefits for them was basically they were one of the most successful co companies to be operating during the COVID time frame. Their, their offices did not stop working. Uh, even though nobody was in the back office, they were still able to manage the whole operations and in fact increase their operations by, uh, by adding efficiencies and um, uh, in scheduling and things like that. The advanced work order management system that we were able to create uh, uh, allowed them to manage uh, uh, the whole operations paperless have end-to-end -end automated workflow. Uh, we also were able to collect uh, key pieces of information that actually helps them in building uh, st uh, strategy and reporting uh, reporting different updates around their uh, around their progress and uh, uh, updates to different customers that they have. Uh, we were able to achieve uh, faster scheduling. So in the past, that they had to wait for the week cycles to come in and, and get the, those papers collected. Instead, now uh, everybody gets their schedule every day in the morning, which is kind of fully optimized for that particular day, for that particular area where the crew is operating that day. Uh, we kind of reduced the travel time because travel time was one of the biggest costs that uh, the company was facing. We were able to reduce that qu quite a bit you know, and ultimately increase the productivity multifold. Uh, the mobile, mobile solution uh, and the mobility that Microsoft Dynamics Field, Field Services uh, 365 provides uh, that kind of capability that they can work from anywhere. They were able to operate this, uh, the whole company without uh, without um, kind of coming coming to office uh, during the COVID and, and pandemic time frame as well. It also gives uh, a field services management team uh, have a kind of a constant look at using the geo special uh, geo specific features of uh, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 field services to have the live location update of all their uh, team members and the field team. So this was uh, something that we did uh, for a com uh, for a company called AS Faulting. Now let me take you to an another case study, which is basically uh, a water heater installation company, which is uh, a kind of one of the uh, biggest uh, water heater company, uh, water heater installation company in in the West Coast. Um, these company, this company has a relationship with a large, one of the largest retail, retail chain, which kind of creates leads and opportunities for the installation company to go and talk to the purchasers of water heater to get them installed in their houses. Now, uh, this required a lot of system interactions, a lot of interaction with the, the retail systems, a lot of inter, uh, interactions uh, with their customer relationship management system, or a uh, lot of interactions with their telephone systems. Uh, there were a lot of multiple systems that were getting involved. Then they had to create permits, then they had to do the dispatch and all. So this organization actually had legacy systems uh, already installed. Uh, they were using a CRM, they were using a field services, uh, a classic field services management system on premises based, and they were also uh, using uh, different uh, uh, disconnected ERP systems and things like that. All of these systems were pretty disconnected and a lot of manual, uh, uh, manual copy and paste or manual data transfer used to happen between these systems. So they called us and uh, we, we basically kind of helped them uh, uh, figure out a scenario where we were able to create a proper integrations between all the systems. We, they wanted to optimize their processes. They also want to have the real-time data access and kind of uh, have a look at all their prog processes and progresses around uh, their sales and operations and things like that. So they were looking for all of these real-time data access. They wanted to provide uh, cus their customers a complete access into uh, uh, where the uh, where the plumber technicians are and where when they are going to come to uh, come and visit their their places. 
in all, we were able to create this solution using Microsoft Dynamics 365 for field services and Microsoft Dynamics CRM and integrate it well with uh, uh, with their ERP uh, uh, and an external ERP by, by using different kind of APIs and things like that. Overall, we were able to uh, create a dispatch optimization solution. Uh, we added a layer of inventory management in, in the field services system to allow them to have a streamlined uh, purchase order process, uh, inventory control. They had different warehouses all throughout the West Coast, and we were able to kind of um, uh, manage those warehouses. Uh, we, were cre we created different product inventory across the warehouses, and then each, each of the plumber, each of the technician actually has his own man uh, van when he goes out and, and kind of uh, goes for water heater installation. So each of the van were also considered as a, as a warehouse because they used to carry a lot of materials and a lot of supplies uh, whenever they go to any, uh, any particular field location. Uh, we created automation around uh, inventory control as well, uh, like uh, ma making sure that inventory never goes down in any of the vans or in any of the warehouses. We added the vendor management and PO management all, all together within the field services solution. Uh, we allowed uh, we created a mobile application so that the plumbers can actually, instead of uh, taking down all the information about uh, where the existing water heater and everything on a piece of paper or, or what they call is like a three or four piece uh, kind of a carbon paper kind of thing. And instead of doing it on that, they were able to do all of those things on a mobile application, which is a Microsoft Power Apps based application, give an interface for plumbers to basically easily capture as much information as possible take pictures right over there uh, within the same system and kind of update uh, all the records in, in a centralized uh, repository with Microsoft Dynamics Field Services uh, that allowed them to, um, to look at any historical customer information uh, within uh, uh, within the same system. So at any time anybody is looking at uh, any particular customer, they can find out like what previous water heater was installed, uh, where was it installed, what are, what were the parameters, what was the water pressure, what was the uh, whether there was an expansion tank or not. There were a lot of kind of associated details around water heaters uh, that come in and those were captured all within the same application. Uh, we added a different kind of uh, digital signature mechanism. So instead of uh, having customers sign multiple pages of multiple documents kind of thing, we were able to streamline those uh, using digital signature capture and uh, make it made it enabled uh, on on the mobile platform itself. So there was no paper involved uh, in those things. Uh, the benefits and outcomes that they were able to achieve out of this solution was mainly around uh, their lead to close time. I mean, they have uh, they had to call their customers in order to find out like what they would like to have. Different kind of water heaters are there, so different kind of uh, uh, requirements are there, different kind of uh, permits requirement were there. We were able to consolidate all those systems into one system, so it actually helped the uh, help the person on the call. Uh, <clears throat> to streamline the, the whole uh, from lead to opportunity to, to course to close uh, and to get that installed within a span of one to two days. So uh, they were able to achieve faster lead to close time. Uh, we are integrating, we are in process of integrating their phone system with, with the Microsoft Dynamics Field Services as well. So the entirety of conversations and everything will also get captured into one system, which is going to be the Dynamics platform system. Uh, we were able to give a better customer experience, uh, not only to the the, the team inside uh, that water heater installation company, but also for the customers that they were able to like. Okay, whenever a customer is calling, the the uh, the representative on the other side already know uh, that this particular customer has this previous water heater installed on that particular date, on that particular locations, and of this particular quality. So all the details around uh, around the customers was being captured. The asset management was captured. The warranty management uh, was captured and kind of uh, implemented and integrated within one system. We, uh, the streamlined PO and inventory control allowed them to uh, to pre-order things at uh, uh, well in advance, uh, especially with the supply chain issues that we are facing after the pandemic. They were able to achieve uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, the minimum downtime because of availability of certain items and all because of proactive uh, ordering system that we were able to achieve. 
uh, we integrated uh, the whole system with with the retail chain. So instead of uh, capturing or going into the retail chains system and finding out opportunities, these opportunities were auto created right from the retail chain system using different kind of APIs. So the moment uh, a person is purchasing a water heater from the retail chain, that opportunity gets created automatically within the uh, within this water heater installation company, and they were able to. Um, uh, serve the customer right away. So the whole experience for the customer was great and uh, the overall this company was able to increase their sales and um, uh, get get the right results. So we were able to achieve the comprehensive analytics because being in, in one or two systems now we were able to use Microsoft Power BI to connect to these systems to create all the reports and everything that they were looking for. Now I've told you uh, enough about uh, the existing systems and uh, like how uh, different organizations were able to uh, uh, kind of take advantage of this. Let me take uh, let me take some time and show uh, show the live system to you. One of the demo systems that we have. I'm just going to share my screen. Give me just a moment. And well, this is coming up. Um, what I have uh, is, is a kind of a demonstration system which kind of shows how the interface of Microsoft Dynamics field services look like. Um, so when you log in, depending on who you are, you are presented with a dashboard that is that is relevant for you. So if you are a dispatcher, you will see different kind of cases, different kind of work orders that needs to be dispatched, type of work orders and details around that. If I am uh, I am uh, responsible for asset management. Uh, I will be presented with a uh, uh, with a dashboard which shows all the assets and kind of customer assets view and everything. I can look at those details over here. I can look at different kind of reports over here and different kind of list, and I can click on those and get uh, further details around that. If uh, I am a field service manager kind of person, an agent kind of person, I would come in over here and look at like okay number of active work orders across different systems, different cities, different types of things, what all is going on, and I can have look at this data right over here. So different kind of uh, 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 homes screen or dashboard screen is available to me as a different uh, and different different uh, users kind of thing and not you are not only limited by the reports that are generated out of the system but you can also integrate with uh, uh, with power bi based reports now this is an integrated power bi report within um, within microsoft dynamics uh, uh, interface over here, which kind of shows me a full historical uh, work order summary for last 12 months around this. How many open work orders were there? How many uh, work orders uh, were there by different kind of month cycle, different kind of regions, uh, different types of work order? What is the current status of work order and all of those things? And I, I have full capability of uh, customizing this view and look at different kind of status and everything. A complete interactive dashboard using Microsoft Power BI is can be embedded within uh, within Microsoft Dynamics field services. So um, then you can also have a different kind of other uh, reports around like, hey, how my resources are working because one of the things that Max called out uh, that for the field services management system, it is basically managing our field resources. Our resources are the key piece here that you try to try to manage not only uh, people, but also your equipment, your inventory and things like that. So you need to have a comprehensive mechanism system which kind of gives you a full insight into all the things and everything. How uh, how are they achieved using something called work order? Now you can go into the work order work order list and look at all the different kind of work orders that that exist over here, uh, and uh, different types of priority. You can sort it out. You can do different kind of filters that you can you can create so that you can have whatever views you want to. And these all views are uh, fully customizable and configurable for uh, for each of the organization. They can see over here that this particular work order has urgency over here. I can click on this work order and get the entire detail about uh, about the customer and um, uh, the work that needs to be performed. So when I click on uh, click on the work order, it opens up the work order uh, uh, sheet, which kind of gives me the full insight into all the things. Uh, it gives me the details about where this particular account exists, uh, who is the who is going to pay for this, what kind of work that we need to perform. Uh, it will also show me if there was another uh, the, if there was a resource which has been scheduled for uh, serving this particular thing. So I see that the David has already been scheduled for uh, for going uh, fixing fixing the challenge that uh, the customer is facing. What kind of challenges they were facing? There's an incident uh, details over here. I can see all the details when it happened. What was 
there's a warranty associated with it. Any conversation and communication that has happened across uh, with the customer is kind of uh, right over here summarized for me. I can look at different kind of products that are going to be required for in order to uh, serve this particular customer. So I can see the, the co total cost and where they are available, which which location they are available so that uh, when David is going uh, going to that particular location to uh, to uh, fix the problem, he should be able to uh, to know and he should be able to procure the things from the right location before going over there. And along with that, you can see all the details around all the all the problems that have happened at the, that particular customer location. How much time will it take us to solve that problem? Uh, solve that problems and uh, different details are going to be available for uh, for any anybody who is trying to manage this work order uh, for them. Now, once the work order gets created, once uh, the, uh, the thing uh, get created, you go to something called schedule board. Now, schedule board is is a very important piece. This is the place where uh, the dispatchers will spend most of their time on. And in order for doing that, they will be basically looking at all the work orders, their team members, what kind of work orders have been assigned to those that particular team. They will th they would like to see where they are. So their location is right reflected within the map over here. And again, this view is highly configurable uh, for uh, for a particular organizations in our and we, it can be tailored for uh, the purpose of their particular organizations. For a sorting company, we were able to tailor it uh, with different kind of asphalting yard and things like that for water heater company we are able to tailor it to different kind of uh, uh, installations and uh, things and we were able to create those kinds of views over here down below you can see the different kind of work orders that are still need to be scheduled so you can actually drag and drop uh, to a particular person that hey this particular person is uh, is available right now and it's probably in the same vicinity you can drag and drop uh, uh, drop the work order right over there and kind of get scheduled uh, you can see the different colors over here, different kind of fonts being used. So all of these basically in, in, indicates um, uh, how. Uh, let me show. Uh, it kind of goes into uh, and, and indicates uh, what is the status of uh, of this particular uh, thing. So. Basically, it shows me whether uh, that particular field resource is busy, cancelled, or that work order is being cancelled, or it's being worked on, or it's completed, or if the field resource is out of office. Everything, every information is right available to us over here in this uh, uh, colored uh, interface, which kind of gives me full uh, um, access into the things. Uh, along with this, so this is the main schedule board where most of the field services management team spends time on. So, for example, so they can look at like this particular uh, work order that has been assigned to David, and they can see that uh, if this is the current status of David. And along with that, I can also manage this resource. So I can click on this resource and look at all of the details about this resource. What are the characteristics of this resource? I can go into this. I can look at the rates of uh, hourly rate for this particular resource. Uh, when is he going to be available? When is he not? So every detail about a resource is also consolidated within this resource management or field services management solution right over here. So this is all fully integrated, uh, right? Uh, like you can you can also click on the work order to see the work order details right over here. So you don't have to like navigate into a different a different system or different screen at any given time. So as a dispatcher, I can have a lot more information readily available to, uh, at my fingertips. Uh, further, um, Microsoft uh, provides you an AI based scheduling system along with this. So depending on your resource uh, capabilities and characteristics and things like that, that you can define about each of the resource and each of the work order can be of a, a specific type. The Microsoft can try to match those uh, uh, skill sets and characteristic of resource with the requirements of a work order and the location of the work order and location of each individual field service resource and create an approximate uh, optimized schedule for you. You can look at this and you can basically uh, work against that or you can update it once uh, once uh, an automated schedule has been created. So all of these things are right available or uh, available to field service managers over here or the dispatch managers over here to make their life easier and very comprehensive in one system kind of thing. Now, uh, when we talk about field services, the important thing is basically the field team. Now the field team is on field. They don't have access to these kinds of systems uh, right over there, but um, they do want to uh, want to interact with the system. They do want to see what kind of uh, uh, work order they need to work on, where they need to go, 
uh, all of those things they need to do. So for that purpose, uh, for uh, Microsoft Dynamics Field Services also has a, a mobile application uh, that can be that can be used, uh, uh, whether it's a tablet based system or a, a mobile phone system. I mean, this application is available on any platform, iOS and Android, or a tablet format or uh, a mobile format and you can see when I log in into the system I am presented with a with a kind of a schedule that I need to work on I can see what what kind of uh, uh, work orders I need to address where are they located uh, the whole location is over here and of course this is a demonstration data so some of these data might not be fully uh, relevant here, but uh, I have this uh, kind of thing available. I also have ability to see different kind of map, different kind of views over here. Uh, when I click on map, I, it kind of shows me where my all, all of my work orders are there. So let's look at this one particular work order and uh, go into the details. So for example, if I'm uh, I'm going and going to address this particular work order, I can uh, I can click on that. And as it always happens, the System slows down when you're trying to demonstrate things around that. OK, so give me just a second. I probably need to rejoin uh, this thing. I'll reconfigure this. So when I log in into my field services mobile application, I will be presented with my schedule as I've, I was showing you earlier. And when I have schedule, I can look at the different kind of work orders that I'm supposed to work on today. And as the data gets updated, uh, I can go click on this particular work order that I'm supposed to work on. I click on that. I see the full detail about like what exactly this work order uh, supposed to be. I can look at this status. So since I'm I'm starting to work, I can start making this status as traveling or as I can mark it as in progress. And depending on whatever I'm doing, it can capture my travel time. It can record my travel time. It can automatically update the systems for those travel times. So if you have to pay the field resources a certain rate during the travel time, you can you can actually manage this uh, with the system. Uh, you can look at the customer uh, details where is located uh, all of those things. I can click on get direction and it will take it and take me to the map application and give me the direction right at the, on the spot. Uh, I can look at the location where, where this particular co coffee machine was installed and uh, where I need to update it or fix it. I can go into the services section and, and kind of uh, shows me like, OK, what exactly I'm supposed to work on. So I have all the incident details over here. I have all the things uh, over here, and it also gives me a list of things that I need to work on. And now this depends on uh, type of work that I'm performing, type of things I'm performing, and it kind of gives me full mechanism to control that. So I can see that, OK, this is the particular uh, uh, activity that I need to perform. I need to confirm the parts to replace. I click on that. Um, Oh, OK, I can. I can. A quick question um, from Tyler. He says, uh, is this a mobile power app or a mobile view of, of Dynamics 365? It's a mobile Dynamics field services application. You can have a Dynamics based field services uh, application over here, along with you can also have um, uh, a power app based system or integrated and hybrid system uh, uh, for mobile applications. So you can also embed Power apps within the Microsoft Dynamics application over here, uh, with with whatever interface you would like to have. So I can see that okay, you know what? I need to look at this, confirm whether I have the I have all the all the parts or not. I can select all of these things, um, and you know what? It it also give me like okay, I'm how much time, how much uh, percent is complete? I am. I can mark it 100% complete, save it, and. Once I save, I can go to the next next particular activity uh, and kind of look at, OK, you know what? I need to uh, do an inspection of certain things so I can see that uh, perform diagnostics. So let's go over there and I have the full uh, act, like process available right over here. I can see, OK, you know what? Ensure that the coffee machine is at the safe location, pass. Uh, I can look at okay, what is being displayed on the display? Do I uh, am, am I able to remove all of those things or not? Uh, what is the uh, the condition of this thing? I can describe the details, and then ultimately I can update uh, update like okay, how much progress I have I have made on this thing uh, for today date or for for this particular visit, and kind of do that. 
Now all of these capabilities are right available uh, within this mobile interface. So I can go back to uh, my screen and not only uh, not only this whole detail about the customer and work orders that I'm working on, but also it gives me mechanism for doing other activities. So since I'm I'm in the field, I also have my own inventory over here, my own uh, kind of uh, my van warehouse. I can see those kinds of details. And then most important thing, I need to take a uh, day off tomorrow. I can actually request a uh, time off directly from here. I can click on time off request and it shows me. I can click on like, OK, you know what? I will be off from this day to this date and add my notes over there and save it. It automatically routes those things back to the uh, back to the back office in order to um, uh, basically process it further. So you have seen that how uh, an integrated field services system uh, along with from the web's web uh, web version, which kind of gives you the full mechanism, full management of the entire uh, field services uh, uh, operations uh, with with the use of mobile application right over here gives you a kind of a full integrated end to end scenario enabled for your organization. Uh, moving on, uh, uh, next. Before you, you move on, uh, Dharmesh, uh, just a quick question. Can we update the components in the managed solution? Yes, you can. There are a lot of. So uh, what I'm showing you is a demonstration scenario. Uh, for a water heater installation company, the interface is completely different uh, and it talks about uh, different kind of uh, uh, evaluations and tech evaluations that you basically perform on uh, on, on a plumbing scenario, on a water heater in, uh, scenario. For asphalting solution, it, it's a complete different interface, different uh, customized for that particular scenario. What Dynamics 365 gives you is this, uh, uh, this extensible and customizable platform. And that brings up uh, to this particular topic over here, or the slide over here, it kind of navigates into this particular discussion as well. The platform that I've used for these kinds of solutions that you have seen over here is basically Microsoft Dynamics 365. This, this platform gives me a fully customizable and extensible uh, way of managing the whole end-to-end -end business operation. Specifically, when it comes down to field services, it can help me in managing different kind of cases, work orders. I can manage the uh, agreements. I can connect to different IoT systems so that automatic work orders are being created. It also gives me mechanism as we have seen that to, uh, to uh, for the dispatchers to schedule, uh, to create, um, uh, use the intelligent scheduling mechanism to give me an optimized schedule kind of thing. Uh, it enables my technicians using different kind of mobile platform and mixed reality. So in case I'm not able to solve a problem, I can actually use uh, um, augmented reality capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics 365 field services app directly over there to connect with an expert uh, or behind the scenes and they can see the things uh, in in near real time on how to solve certain things and the 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 field resource can actually get um, assistance from uh, experts who might be like miles and miles or thousands of miles away uh, it also gives me a mechanism to keep my customers happy. Customers are happy because they can see the updates uh, on their uh, that uh, issues or cases right over there in their portal. They can track the the technicians in case they need to. Uh, all of the history of uh, regarding the customers and everything is being preserved in the system. So anybody who is interacting with the customer will have access to all of that information, and that gives a good experience for the customers. Uh, all the data and everything is being collected at every uh, uh, every instance. So all of this data is captured. It can be used for creating different kind of uh, strategical analysis for your business, or it can be used for managing your day-to-day -day operations as well. It can also in integrate into different kind of ERP systems. That's where the extensibility and customizability comes in, where you can you can integrate it with. Um, different uh, customer systems or different ERPs, different initiation systems and things like that. How is Microsoft uh, is able to provide this? Because of this whole Dynamics 365 platform, which is built on Microsoft Cloud or Azure Cloud. It gives a, a mechanism and different kind of layers exist in the, in the system. It has an intelligent uh, common data service. It uses a common data platform across CRM, across ERP, across field services, project services, resource management, 
management so that it it you it uses that underlying data structure in order to give give you this integrated um, environment for you then it utilizes uh, utilizes different kind of uh, ai and machine learning capabilities in order to provide the intelligent scheduling uh, uh, ready to use maps ready to use uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, data for uh, uh, for the mobile operations uh, so that uh, the experience for the users, experience for the customers and uh, experience for the field services managers is kind of seamless. So along with this whole thing, it, uh, it uh, the Azure fabric allows you to connect to different kind of uh, IoT endpoints. So whatever machinery is or even uh, for that particular purpose, if you if you have a lot of uh, mobile uh, machineries like trucks or bulldozers or things like that, and if you have to manage those equipments also, those can also be managed uh, uh, within the inventory system of Microsoft Dynamics 365. So this comprehensive platform that, that comes in uh, requires you to take some uh, small steps every, uh, throughout the way. So you start somewhere small and then go uh, go and Im implement uh, the full comprehensive solution. So over to you, Max, uh, to conclude, and then we can go back to the questions and answers. Yeah, thanks, Darmash. So yeah, I know that was um, a lot of information and you're probably like, well, you know, I don't know how to get started. Um, but I just want to let you know that uh, digital transformation doesn't happen overnight. Um, like Darmesh said, you need to start small and go from there. And uh, building a roadmap is the first um, step. It is a critical step in the process. And uh, I just want to say that everybody here today is welcome to a complimentary a one hour consultation call with us um, so we can help you find uh, solutions to some of the challenges you are facing. Um, we are also you know, firm believers that once you get st um, started and rolling in some of the benefits that these tailored solutions provide, um, that you will start to have more ideas on how to optimize your field operations. And uh, yeah, and we'll be there to support you. Um, you can reach us at that um, email at the bottom right there, connect at advaya.com, or you can just reach out to me directly. Um, email me at max.levitt at advaya.com or call me on my cell. I'll be more than happy to chat with you guys. Um, and we have about a few minutes left, so if anybody has any questions, um, please feel free to unmute yourself or type it in chat. So uh, Raj, to answer your question completely about like, can we update the components in the managed solution? Yes, you can. Uh, you can have updates, uh, regular updates uh, that can be made on your application. As you implement, uh, as you start small, you can start with one com one kind of workload, like, okay, you're not, I just need to manage the workloads for uh, work orders first. So you start there and then you can add inventory stuff and all of those things. And your mobile application can automatically update uh, based on whatever releases that you are making. So the Microsoft Dynamics 365 mobile application kind of relies on the implementation details on, on the Dynamics platform, and it can update uh, based on whatever updates and screens and new things that you are adding into your system. And uh, similarly, the mobile application will also get updated accordingly. You can also use Microsoft uh, Power Platform using Microsoft Power Apps and Power Automate to implement a bunch of extra solutions and extra capabilities that are not natively available within uh, within that Dynamics platform. As Power App, Power Platform uses the same common data structure, same uh, uh, dataverse behind the scenes, which has access to the same kind of entities, customers, work orders, all of those things are available to Power Apps as well, and you can make your applications uh, uh, kind of intelligent around that. Thank you, Tyler. Um, any commonly used tools for developing CRM? So we use Microsoft Dynamics CRM platform uh, to build the CRM, uh, and it allows you to have the full blown customer relationship management right from managing your different kind of campaigns, uh, leads, contacts, uh, opportunities, quotes, the, the whole process, the sales management process, and you can integrate that with field services to like directly transition from, uh, from those opportunities to work orders and all the data can move across the chain without any, uh, without any external uh, component required on those. And most of the things in Dynamics 365 uh, configurations and and uh, development can be used can be done just using very simple, uh, easy to use Visivec tools that are 
uh, natively avail available with Dynamics 365. So you can go in, you can configure the views, you can configure the entities, you can remove certain attributes out of those entities, you can add extra attributes, you can change the, uh, you can call something some very specific to, uh, based on your own organization, based on all, your own domain. All of those configurations and everything is right available within the administrative platform of Dynamics 365. I see somebody is typing a question, so I'm going to wait for that. You're welcome. Um, any other question at any given time, please feel free to reach out to us as Max uh, shared his contact information. And as he mentioned that uh, we are available for uh, a, a free consultation also, uh, kind of giving you an idea about how you can start, where you can go, uh, kind of create a roadmap for you. Uh, work with you on figuring out how we can uh, we can kind of uh, tailor a system uh, specific to you, how we can optimize what uh, uh, what outcomes we can achieve using simple technologies like Microsoft Dynamics platform. Well, thank you. Uh, it's great uh, talking to you all, and uh, I hope to connect with you uh, individually one to one. And uh, thanks for joining our webinar. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. Thank you.